All right, in this section of the video bootcamp series, we're going to be covering ordnance weapons and how they work in this game system. Now, this video is going to focus on firing at infantry type targets, and the next one is going to cover how you're going to fire at armor type vehicles. Now, when I say ordnance, I mean anything that has a ordnance table on the back of the counter, like this here, that can include armored vehicles like tanks firing their cannons, or a support weapon like a bazooka firing you know, a rocket, these weapons are gonna have an ordnance table on the back of them that are gonna give you their stats and how to shoot them. Now, very uh, again, very briefly, on your ordnance table, your top row of numbers is your range, your middle row of numbers is the number you need to roll on a 2d6 or under to take and hit the target, and the bottom row of numbers is your penetration value for when firing at an armored vehicle. Now, I have a Tiger One laid out here. Both of these are the Tiger One counter. I just have one upside down so you can see uh, both sides of the counter for our example here. Uh, do keep in mind on the ordnance tables that some of them are split and it'll show a couple different sets of values on it. This can indicate a AA type weapon or a tank that has multiple different types of cannons on it. Uh, in this case, you will have to take and select what type of ammo that you're gonna fire. If it's different and you can tell by the different colors on it, or if it's the same by having white or black numbers on the, uh, the ordnance table itself, you can fire both sets of cannons, but you'll be firing at the uh, same hex. Maybe different targets, but definitely at the same hex. Now, when you're firing at an infantry type target, as well as using your ordnance table, you're going to be using your HE value, which we can see on this Tiger 1 is a 4. That's the number directly to the left of your morale value. Now, this can have a small superscript next to it, small superscript number, that indicates that it can be fired more than once. The procedure for firing a ordnance weapon at an infantry type target is actually relatively easy. The first thing that you're going to do is determine your range. We can see here the range is three hexes away, so we're going to be using the first column on our ordnance table, the 7, 10, and 8. We're not going to need the 8 for the penetration value for this combat. All you're going to do is you're going to take and roll a 1d6 for the attacker, and you're going to add your HE value to that, and then you're going to compare it to a 1d6 roll for the defender without any leadership or target modifiers. None of those modifiers apply in this type of combat. And then you'll take the difference from that if the attacker's number is higher and conduct a damage check as normal. So let's say that our Tiger 1 here rolled a 4 on a d6 and our Americans rolled a 6 on a d6 during their combat. What you would do is add your HE value, 4, to the roll of 4, giving you a total of 8, and then you would compare it to the defender's roll of 6. This would give you a difference of 2, at which point you would take that difference and add it like normal to a 1d6 roll and consult the damage chart as normal, just like in a uh, direct fire combat. Now it's going to be different when firing in vehicles, but we're going to cover that in the next video.